Okay, so in this episode of Gav Details, we are going to be using the IK Foam 9 for the first time. Uh, we have roughly, you can see the water moving around in there, just a little bit more than three quarters of a gallon of uh, total solution. We have about 100 ounces of warm water, and then I have three ounces of the Griot's Garage Foaming Surface Wash. It took about 40 pumps of the handle here um, to get it to just about fully pressurized. Uh, as you can see, the pressure release valve has not uh, come out to the green section. There's just a little bit of play there for it to come out, but I'll uh, pump it as needed. So it's about 43 degrees outside and I'm going to be cleaning the truck. I'm gonna see how much of the truck I can foam with the roughly three quarters of a gallon of solution in the foamer. We do have the gray tip of the uh, feeder tube here, the distribution tube. Um, it does come with the green and the orange. I covered that in the unboxing video. I will leave a link to that in the top right hand corner. I did use the IK 1.5 foam sprayer for the first time last week. I will link that video above as well. So the driveway is in the shade. Uh, I was really hoping to use the hose and the pressure washer today um, just because the truck has a little bit of uh, salt residue on the lower panels. So um, we'll see if it's going to be warm enough to do that. If not, then I'll probably pre-foam the truck and then move over to a rinseless wash. So I'm going to get the truck positioned for the wash and then I will just cut straight to using the foamer for the first time. Okay, so I had to pump the unit uh, three times in order to coat the truck. I did notice that if you hold the wand sideways to have your spray pattern this way, uh, it got a little bit more um, of an even coverage for the larger panels. Uh, it seems that the uh, foam is heaviest on the uh, top and bottom or on the, you know, the bordering sides of the fan this way like where my fingers are so it does produce a thick foam you can see it running off here uh, the truck was coated with C quartz UK 3.0 in I don't know late September I believe so 
you can see how dirty the foam is here uh, carrying off the heavy salt sediment from street driving here so and then in terms of how much product we have left as you can see in the bottom of the container there you still have roughly a little bit less than half of a gallon so it is a full-size truck uh, I did buy a second IK9 foamer because I have Auto Fanatics wheel cleaner on pre-order so we will be doing a review of that product once it comes in uh, I forgot to mention it is okay to leave your solution uh, in the sprayer what you want to do is make sure that you release the pressure with the valve here And for good measure, you want to make sure that you loosen the handle here. There will be a little bit of bubbles there uh, to come out, just to make sure. Because if you did want to uh, drain the unit using the drain plug here, you don't want any of the solution to just uh, spit out. So obviously make sure all your fittings are tight before filling it. Uh, I suggest adding the water and then your uh, soap solution. If you have any questions on the uh, IK9 foam sprayer or the Griot's Garage foaming surface wash, leave it in the comments. Uh, I will link um, all the products below in the description of the video. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and for more detailing videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.